Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how we can read the CSV file using CSV reader. In our previous video we would have seen how we have read the CSV file using scanner class. This we will use using CSV reader. This is the CSV which we are going to read. So this is a CSV file. This is scanner csv.csv channel name owner of the channel as a technocoder and as a so these are the headers and these are the two rows which are available let me close this now let us see to the program first what we'll do we'll take a csv reader okay so let me write a main method let me write csv csv reader and i'll assign null to that okay and we can write in try and catch block so now Try is always followed with the catch. So catch, I will catch an exception here. If the exception is thrown, and we can add a print stack trace, okay, of that exception. Now in the try, we can add reader equal to new CSV reader. So with this CSV reader, we can easily read the file. New file reader. So inside that we can add one more reader, new file reader of the file. So the, here you have to give the path of the file. So let me go to read csv.java and I can copy the same path. So I want to read the same file. So let me copy it from here. I'll copy this. I'll paste it into read csv file, read csvreader.java and I'll paste it here. Okay. So now let me see the suggestion for file reader. So java.io will be the suggestion for this. Let me see the suggestion for CSV reader. CSV reader, the open CSV. Guys, to get this open CSV, just add one of the dependency. In the POM I have added. So let me go to the bottom. And this is the dependency which I have added. So I'll add this dependency in the uh, description also so that even guys can copy. So once you read that, once you read that CSA from the reader, now we have to move to a array. So let me take a string array. So I'll write here next. So here I can, I can give, I can take a while loop. So in the while loop I can write so next equal to reader dot read next. So here the reader it is reading the CSA file. Read next in sense it will go to a next next column next next value it will read okay if it is not equal to null only you read that and then you run a for loop what is the for loop here so I'm taking string csv file I'm breaking taking next here read the csv file from this next okay is for loop for each loop you can easily get that. So I'm I'm printing what here this out. So, so print out. So I'm printing this CSV file. So CSV instead of writing CSV file, CSV file values are right. Values are right. Okay. Let me copy this. Let me paste it here. And I want to give some space. So I'll uh, concatenate it with space. And after writing it, instead of println, I'll give print so that it will uh, write simultaneously. And once this for loop is over, I want I want to add println next line. So I'll give slash n. So it will give a next line. Okay. So that's it. Let me now run this. Let me put the console on the top here. Now it is easily visible. I'll right click here. I'll click on run as Java application. Java application. Now you can see it will read the CSV file and it will print the result. Okay. So these are the, so this is my header, these two are the headers and these are the values. That's it. We have, we read the CSV file with the CSV reader. Hope you have liked the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.